Hi guys, this time I decided to share with you all my nail care routine. This is a little bit unorthodox. Um, what I normally do is I leave my nail polish on when I do certain tasks associated with my nail care. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and I'm just showing you how bad off I, my, nail, my nail beds are and my hands. The crustiness, the, the, the just peelies all around my cuticle area. So I'm just going to do a little bit of TLC to my nails here. Then I'm just to get a nail clipper just to clip off those. Uh, peelies around my cuticle area around my nails so I can get that nice and smooth and clean see that that booger there <laughs> I'm gonna clean that off there uh, so I can get it like I said nice and clean and smooth around my cuticles the next thing that I do is I go ahead and file it this time I'm gonna use my uh, glass file and this one I purchased a while back it was from Big Locks but it's a pretty decent nail file so i'm just gonna go ahead and do that like i said i do this with my nail polish on i found that when i don't have my nail polish on and i try to uh, to shape my nails it just makes it it just makes it worse for me as far as making them chip even worse so i do file them in one direction and I know it's, I went that very fast, but I just wanted to make sure that I show everything to you all. So now I'm just going to add my cuticle remover, which is my Blue Cross uh, cuticle remover. I'll show you in this, uh, put a card in the video um, to show you the items that I do use in my nail care routine. I have changed it up a little bit, shortened it a little bit, but for the most part, this is what I do. I found that also leaving my nail polish on when I'm doing this with the nail uh, the, the cuticle remover is that it helps for me. I don't know about anybody else. It keeps it from peeling even worse because the the, the um, cuticle remover can damage your nails. So uh, I do this while my nail polish is still on to avoid it from further damaging my nails. So as you can see here, um, I'm cleaning that off. You can see the little crusties coming up from around my cuticle area this is a wonderful product so it does help to clean up my cuticle area and that's what i'm doing here i tend to use the pointed end a lot too to really get down in there around the edges because it's hard for me to get it with the blunt end so i don't bludgeon myself i just gently you know scrape around till I get the the cuticle area clean like I want it how many of you guys let me know in the comment section how many of you guys do this as far as leaving your nail polish on while you're you know cleaning your cuticle area or um, or filing let me know if you you do this practice like I said, for me, it's, it's the best thing I can do. Um, it keeps my nails from chipping even further or um, splitting even more. So this is what I do. I did do my right hand. I'm not going to show you in this video been too long. But I use this oil, I use this on all of my body because it, you can, as you can see at the bottom, it, you can use it for your hair, your hands, your body, your anything. So this is a very, it's a thick oil, but it is so, it feels so good to the skin. I mean, it really just moistens your hands and your nails. So I'm just rubbing that into my cuticle area very good since I've washed my hands and done the, um, the cuticle remover so I'm just adding that to my hands and I use this to moisten my cuticle area or keep it hydrated before I pull take my nail polish off so that's what I'm doing here getting my hands nice and moist and, and, and um, oiled up so I'm taking some cotton balls that I've already soaked in acetone and I use strips of aluminum foil you know the strips the sheets instead of the big pieces of aluminum foil, well, I get the sheets and I just tear them in pieces 
to fit around my nail. So I'm just gonna add the cotton ball and then put the aluminum foil. And this helps it to just come off in one little swipe. I'll let that soak for a couple of minutes, not very long. And then I'll just take it off. Look how easy that comes off. No scrubbing, no rubbing, just wonderful. So now I'm just gonna clean up the um, other edge of my nail from the inside where I've got polish. Just cleaning it really well. I just love how it just comes off so easily. <laughs> Look at that. I have gotten so spoiled that I don't even want to rub my, the polish off. I like to put it on and wipe, swipe it off. But this is the finished um, part of my, after I've taken off the nail polish. Now I'm moistening my hands again, give it a little bit more TLC because, you know, acetone is drying. So I'm just oiling and oiling it and uh, just rubbing, making sure I concentrate around my cuticle area. Because you know at the beginning of the video, they were looking a hot Holy mess. <laughs> now to give it, exfoliate my hands and my cuticles, I'm using this, uh, it's actually a foot scrub, but I use it for my hands too. It's multi-purpose. I try to use things that can be multi-purpose. So it, and when, when I'm done, y'all, my hands are so smooth. I work with a lot of paper so my hands get dry and um, this helps to actually exfoliate it, smooth it out. I just love it. I love it for my feet as well. I use it for my feet too. Maybe I'll do a manicure on my feet. I'll be brave enough to show you my feet. <laughs> but I'm just uh, rinsing it off with warm water. I usually use my nail brush, but uh, I left it in the other bathroom. So I'm just trying to clean off as best I can. Voila, they're clean. Now, after I've dampened my hands dry, I'm just applying the Barely Bare. I'm not actually gonna go to bed and put a base coat. I was getting this ready for another manicure, but I love this Barely Bare. It's just enough polish on your nail. It's, it, I love the color, the texture of it. I just love it from Paparazzi. So, just applying that that's all I'm doing to my nail uh, you guys let me know what you do in your nail care routine I want to thank you guys once again for watching I really appreciate you all's support you have a wonderful day and thank you again for watching I'll see you in the next video bye